All right, we're back with the first ever how to teach your German Shepherd to get a pumpkin. <laughs> Gotta get ready for fall. I realize now, based on my memories, as soon as it's October, I start doing the fall episodes. So if you say, well, how can you get a pumpkin? It is, I think people need to think of, you know, there is some limitation to what they can pick up. So you're not gonna try, if you're training them and they're failing, that's not good. Once they believe they can pick something up, they'll keep trying. They will. So your job in the beginning, though, is to, you know, everything's easy to pick up. But he said, this "No, it's a prop pumpkin. It's all fake. It's a prop pumpkin. But it's this is apparently what you do now. You don't even get real pumpkins. You you can carve this thing. Yeah, yeah. Get carving tools and carve it. And so instead of a real pumpkin, yeah, you can save this now." Yeah. You know when your kids carve that cute pumpkin? I should tell my brother about this, how they do pumpkin carving every year. Yeah, if you said they need other fake vegetables too, they do. Okay, let me see if I can get him doing something here. So he doesn't need any words. I've already got my PJs on. You said, what's the Lorenzo's project when he gets here? Well, I didn't get the Baxter thing, but he needs to start breaking down some of those boxes. I'm going to have him unload the van. But then I'm bringing him to Norwoods for dinner. If you said to lull him into a sense of, yeah, to lull him into a sense of, everything's fine. <laughs> if you said, what if they don't, oh, they better have those. In fact, I'm calling Norwoods. If they don't have the cheesy bites, I might be bringing them to the garlic. I, I don't understand how you get the best thing on the menu. And, well, we just won't have that anymore. <laughs> Who does that? Okay, so... I already know he'll pick it up. If you said it, it's really, it's not that. He's got to pick it up by the stem. Jess, all ready for Halloween. Oops. Oh, hi, pretty. I don't know if you have Halloween there, but here we have something called Halloween. So if you said the people's dogs get their pumpkins, not usually. All right, let me get him back up there. Mackie. He thought I was sending him. He was going on a blind retreat. mind. He wants to grab it. The whole thing. 
He's, if you said he could. Oh, hi, Claire. I don't know if you guys have. Do you have Halloween there? I think you do. There's Halloween everywhere. It's very disturbing. Yeah, we live in a culture. Don't take candy from strangers. Oh, except for one day a year. Go to any stranger's house and get candy. Oh, my God. Oh, no mixed signals here. Don't tell lies. Oh, but a fat man's coming down our chimney and bringing these gifts. It's not us. One lie after the next. And meanwhile, we're not supposed to lie. The mixed signals are disturbing. All right, now I can do the Rottweiler. So you get the idea, though. He's, it's, it's, just, it's the behavior, not the actual object. You know, and if you said, well, I need to only, I only wanted to pick it up by the stem, it, he really doesn't have any other choice. He tried it a couple other ways. It was too big. There's actually a bigger one, but anyway, okay, let me put him up real quick and do the wrong one. It doesn't have much. It gets hot real quick. Anyway, Claire, I thought of you. That pit bull that killed that uh, woman was named Snowball. You know, it just, they give them these innocuous sounding names. You know, a snowball, that certainly doesn't sound, if you said, well, a snowball fight. I guess you're right, a snowball fight. So if you said, what's this dog's deal? It is all loaded up. In fact, I'm going to put you guys in the camera grip so you can see it a little bit better. See, that's the difference, though. This camera grip is real deep. And so it fits this phone. That's what I need to do. Apparently, I've bought some brand B camera clip that's very shallow. That's why it doesn't work out. This, on the other hand, is very deep. He said, what's the dog doing? Oh, it's trying to come up with every plan it has. Okay, so hang on. I'm going to put you guys in the camera. In the dog level camera stand so you can see. But, you know, you've got to say to yourself, these things have loads of energy. If they're not putting it into working with you, then you're systemically making yourself less interesting. If the only fun that's ever had is nothing to do with training. So this is my dog level camera. And if you said, why is this a good little? Just because there's grass on either side, there's an obvious path of least resistance. If you said, what do people with no instincts do? They start walking on the grass and they start, clue! They start going off the path of least resistance. So because that's the nature of the dog, if you want to be successful, look for what appears to be a path of least resistance. If you said, just, just, yes. They're always going to follow a little trail, so. All I've got to do. She backs up. Gosh, he's all, he's all feet. Watch your hand.
says her reverse is, it is, her reverse is stuck. So I go that way first. All right, hang on, watch. So I'm pulling it around that corner. All right, so she's at an angle, at an angle. Boom! At an angle, at an angle. hand though is a little bit of a Let's say I line up your spine now. See, she's all bounce. Oh, she's all bounce. I wait till you see her jump, Claire. Have you said, so does she do the foot still? Not really. Not really. She jumps over top of it. Who knows why? It's a dog. It does anything. Oh, hey, girl. Oh, yes, I remember that. Now looking back, that's all this guy could come up with. Jump that baby pool over and over. Jesus. Oh, my God, girl. Just thank God. I, I will always be grateful. You saved me. I did. I was fooled into thinking this guy was like a serious pro trainer. I'm stupid. Thank God you told me all that. The second I heard that, I was like, oh, my God. Well, right then, he was like trying to blackmail me, too. <laughs> He said, some guy was trying to blackmail you on the internet? Yes! S trying to tell me to send him, oh, $3,600 to be your intern? Yeah. Yeah, he had to send money to his family back home. And remember, where, where, where were they from? Trinidad or something. Some place. And then remember, I looked it up online. It was like some, you know, uh, like serious, like drug problem. And then we decided that he was on pills or something. I don't even know. So, so you two girls just decided that this guy was on pills. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We decided that this guy was dangerous, something, you know, living. This van was a hot mess because he was living in it is what I'm guessing. I'm going to let her wander off. He said, where's she going? She knows that the bag of treats is over there. She's going to lay down the... All right, so I'm going to wait until she looks away, and then I'm going to take her off. We're not going to get anywhere. All right, let's let her just do a little dive in the pond, because that's probably all she's got in her. She's all fancy got to though. Anyway, I got rid of the carcass of whatever it was. Yeah, that's really sad that the dog got taken away. How much of a loser are you if your fucking personal dog that <laughs> you've been training for years gets taken away? It is. You said, does she swim? I don't think she swims. Can't try though. Yeah, kind of. Not really. Uh, maybe. There she goes. I'm trying to look at her. Oh, she does swim. dead right now no no listen girl i wouldn't be dead i'd be an episode of a web of lies <laughs> i'd be a web i'd be an episode of that tv show web of lies <laughs> oh he said he was a serious pro trainer he would be an intern he would do all the work <laughs> just like lorenzo's promised to do i think he said he spoke some other language or something too or that he spoke like five different languages whatever there was some appeal 
I think that's what it was, now that I think about it. That he spoke French, and he spoke, that was probably lies too though. That was probably lies too though, girl. Yeah, he spoke like five different languages or something. I'm, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. If you said, what's with Lorenzo? Well, at least Lorenzo, I can call his father and say, listen. If you said, does Lorenzo want that? God, no. God, no. It's his worst nightmare that I was call his father and say, listen, come and get him. Come get this kid. He's lazy. Oh, my God, Lorenzo. Oh, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Anyway, that was how to teach your dog to get a pumpkin. So I'm going to go walk the dog. To get... Anyway, next time that you see, then all my boxes will be gone. But if you said, what about the boxes that you're getting delivered? Well, those will be there. <laughs> if you said, what about the boxes from the stuff you haven't ordered yet? Well, those will be there. <laughs> I'm going to vow to... I tell the mailman sometimes. I, I promise I, I didn't have time to order anything yesterday. <laughs> so just like one day I don't order something. It's terrible. I know, girl, you couldn't. Who knows what he did to that dog? Jesus, it probably would have turned or who knows? I remember he used to post those pictures of the dog and I'd sit there and tell him, listen, the ears are pinned back. It looks really sad. I would take that picture down. Oh, I did. Like he had one picture where they sit there and make him stand up against something like they're getting frisked by the police. If you said, well, that's how I would want to put a picture where I'm standing looking like I'm getting ready to get frisked by the police. Not me, <laughs> you know, not the dog either. He's standing up against the telephone pole. There's just like some trainers that would make him do that. If you said, why? I don't know. <laughs> stand up against the, why would you want a dog to stand up against the telephone pole? His back legs, you know what I mean? Just to prove that you're some trainer. Oh, okay. If you said, what did I tell him? I, I told him that doesn't prove anything. To me, it's stupid. And the dog, the look on the dog's face is awful. Anyway, girl, message me. Tell me more of what happened. When did all this happen? I hope that he's not somewhere where you run into him. I'll tell you, I hate, I hate when there's people like that and you look and then I, for some reason I thought he would like move away or something. Try to go find, he didn't, didn't I get any prospects around there. Uh, he couldn't even give me a reference though. I said, you know, do you have any references? Oh, that lady I worked for in New Mexico. Oh, she, she didn't. Oh, she screwed me over. Yeah. I have a feeling she'd have a little bit different story. Oh, Jesus. Just thank God, girl. Just thank God you told me all that. You know, I'd be, I'd be an episode of Web of Lies. They found my body floating in the pond and, uh, Randolph, the intern in the van, were gone and the Rottweiler. <laughs> the van, the Rottweiler, and the intern were gone. <laughs> Web of Lies. Oh.